The reason I had to take my hand is because this is all filthy. The guy that used the last didn't clean it. You have to leave it soaking in water so that it'll be clean by tomorrow.
any major areas where I might have gotten mud, I just clean it with the sponge and we dry out. But all I did was tape it by hand. It's considered like fire tape. We're not gonna finish over these flats or the 45s. It's a corner store here. We're gonna be playing that exposed steel structure. But here, the refrigerators are gonna go right here. So they wanted me to hurry up and do them. But I thought only up to eight to 10 feet, but we're gonna do them all the way to the top. So I need a lift or a scaffold in here. I brought neither of them today. So I'm gonna go ahead and wait till I get a scaffold and we can go ahead and finish that out fire tape. Here we are. We're gonna see if we can borrow the lift for a little bit if it's even here. And if it's here, hopefully we can use it and hope to God we can use it. I actually really don't see no lift here. Maybe they took it. I got a little scared right now because I didn't see it, but let's see if it's in working condition. We're going to go ahead and get this done in no time see i didn't want to have to rent a lift and bring it out here for one day yesterday when i came and did that by hand but right now it's going to make it a lot more easier on me to go ahead and get started There, I moved everything out of the way so I can go ahead and put the scissor lift in this area, start mixing some mud, and go ahead and get started with this fire tape before it runs out of daylight. I got about 45 minutes before the sun goes out completely. It's 6.55 p.m. and uh, hopefully I finish it before the sun comes down.
cleaning my hand. I'm just gonna go ahead and white. I finished 
the entire wall of fire tape. I wanted to go ahead and get some footage. I, I went ahead, I finished it. Today it is 9.15 p.m. and uh, cleaned everything up, cleaned up the lift, put the lift exactly back where it was so they would never know I touched it, cleaned it up, any mud I might have dropped on it. And uh, I went ahead and fire, fire taped all these. Some I wiped, some I just hand wiped, but I did spot all the nails. And uh, they're 100% completed. I ended up using the light from my truck. That's the light that y'all are seeing. I know all these Milwaukee lights that I got, I didn't bring any with me. But I was able to park the truck, put on the headlights, and finish up the project. Because if not, with this little light, Harbor Freight, it did work for a while. But, I mean, once it got pretty dark, as you can see, you know, I can barely see up there and I was barely able to see the nails. I would use this little Harbor Fright flashlight whenever I couldn't see some of the nails or something that I thought I missed. I would point it up there. But I finished it. Now we're going to go ahead and drive back to San Antonio. We're here in Hondo, Texas. I'm going to stop at the store, get something to drink. Hopefully they got something to drink here and head on back home.